Hey llamas, and uh, I'll be showing you my outside today. Right now I'm inside. I have to tell you that it's going to be really windy, and if you can't hear me, I might do another video when it's not so windy. Like, I've added more since my last video, and uh, whoever want wanted me to do prop tutorials, I'm very sorry for the delay, but I'll get, I'll try to get to those I don't know when, but I'll try. Halloween is on Thursday. And I'm doing this on Sunday, so. Uh, no, not Sunday. Forget that. Uh, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. Um, so, at, as you see, I've added a big spider and changed a lot of stuff here. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to get to the animatronic video. So... Well, that's my minute. I'll see you outside. Okay, I'm back. That took like a minute. It probably was less than a second for you guys. But, um, here it starts. I had to change this because I need the hood for my costume this year. I got some purple lights. Uh, I'll do another In the Dark video tonight, maybe. And, uh, I have a cauldron with the little guy. With the heads on a chain on some cobwebs. There's a lot of cobweb I added. A standing ghost that surprisingly hasn't fell down. And that guy just has a pirate head that I found in a box. We got it, a lot of new stuff because we... F Look at that guy swaying over there. Look at him. That's how bad the wind is today. That is how bad it is. I'm sorry if you can't hear me, but... Here's this guy about to fall down. I added lights to pretty much everything. As you see, that pumpkin has a light going into there, and I had that pumpkin, and that's a real pumpkin. Uh, I'll have to show you my carved pumpkin. It's really cool. I'll do that at the end of the video. Uh, here's a skeleton head attached to my danger sign and stuff. Next, here's a new prop. I built it myself. It's just uh, one of my old costumes with some bones. Uh, from a bag of bones and a skeleton head on a wood wooden post with cobweb on them that you probably can't see. But, uh, <laughs> there it is. Here's my skeleton in the cage. Don't mind that. I'm trying to do an experiment with it, but it's not really working. It, it's, it's on this, like, hook thing, but the post I just added for detail, like, that's what they would do in the medieval times, and here what he does. There's actually light, but you can't see it in the daytime. He just rocks and says, let me out. Uh, rat. Nothing else. Just some cloth with some creepy cloth and more orange lights on the ground. And, um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I just laughed for no apparent reason. And, uh, here is... A guy covered in cobwebs that keeps blowing. I tried to fix the problem, but it really didn't work. Let me fix this cobweb. It is really pretty darn windy today. Like, it, I, it, it's like that skeleton on a bike almost fell down. That's how windy it is. A skeleton head there. And some ghosts. More, another line of ghosts with rapid swinging weirdo guy thing and uh... you are next is written there in sharpie but nobody can read it like it's that small and then people from the road are supposed to see it because i don't do candy for a second i thought that was a spider or something because of that tarantula is on there and this post trying to keep it up from flowers only that ghost lights up that guy doesn't I'm not sure why. I put a bulb into him, but it broke. Hopefully I don't step on it in the video. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, so here's some, uh, bats. That one fell down. Just run-of-the-mill bats from 1960. Yeah, they're pretty old. Um, I'm just gonna put him here. Some orange lights and a hanging skeleton, dude. This thing, I put a pumpkin on, but then nobody can even see it, so why not just put a skeleton head that doesn't even fit on there? 
It's supposed to be Playmobil or something that I got it from a set. Oh, crap, I almost tripped on that little ghost. You've seen this before. Uh, tombstone, that, that tombstone. I added those flowers, a hand. This guy instead of that other cemetery sign. I don't even know where that is. It probably blew into the next country, for, for all I know. It probably did today. Like, if you are here right now, it is very windy. And if you're in this area, uh, Pennsylvania, you would feel it. And I'm not telling you what town I'm in, because you stalkers aren't coming to get me. So, here's a skeleton guy. Uh, this thingy, ghost. There's another ghost over there, I'll show you him. Uh, with a hand that I got from the dollar store. Disappeared hand. two on because it was not bright at all and uh well here is this guy and it's often now to make this you're gonna need like a long planter and you'll get a dollar mini skeleton and you don't have to put the chains but if you want to just like put chain on his hands like some length chain they're five like a dollar at the dollar store. Why would I say five dollars at the dollar store? It's really easy to make, probably the total of two dollars, because I already had this planter, and then some cobweb on it, two spiders that I'm gonna move over here, uh, some foam board, and just put that on top. I didn't glue it, because it's working out well, the cobweb just does it, so it looks like a mini coffin. That big pumpkin lights up. There's all these ghost lights that like blink and stuff. Bat, pumpkin head, that guy up there. Door. Now this guy, five dollars. You seen him on the other thing, but uh, God, need to fix him every day. He's just very bad. Um, he is holding kind of cobweb. No, the lights and he, the cobweb is just kind of there. I uh, that thing and two of those. They don't light up. He's just holding the lights that do light up. And he's pretty awesome, except his black cloak fell off. But that's okay. It looks better without him, in my opinion, on this. And then I had these... Nice-eyed? Derpy-eyed. Nice-eyed? Derpy-eyed. Uh, yeah, that's what the ghosts are. Uh, peeper and peepers. It's just a big strand of these random lights on each other. I got a bunch from the 1960s because my mom and my grand not the 1960s, I actually got that stuff like to, to I don't know, like the 1990s, but my mom and my grandpa used to have a store and that's some salvaged Halloween stuff. Oh god, I'm gonna trip on the wire. Um, as you see that bulb is in there. Let me put it down. No, that's not a good idea. I'm just gonna put it like that. I'll see what it does. It came out of that pumpkin. I'll maybe have to put it in. Uh, pumpkin looking up at this spooky guy with cobweb and that guy. And that punk, that thing popped. The the pause. Just, just gonna pause the video, okay? I took a break so I can actually talk. And, uh, here's my skeleton. My god. I, I don't even know what to do right now. I don't know if I can say the word C-A-T Cat Okay, the cat pops up out of the skeleton Pumpkin! My- Just- I, I just don't know anymore The, the only two like, Two Halloween props I can't give you any more prop tutorials Whoever wanted it Now, you see, you get like an old thing for this Uh, an old shirt Get a post A dollar skeleton head Like Stick it in there, get that in, put that, make sure you put the shirt on top of that, and then stick the head in, and it'll get it. And then get to a bag of bones, and just, like, stick it in the shirt things, and then wrap a cobweb around if you want. It's just string out. No complex movement. Uh, 
and um, this guy just got just stuffed his shirt and some pants. Put a skeleton head on top of it or whatever head you want, mask, get some wires, put it up to his neck or something. I use like jumper cable things that don't work. And just like make sure you have some kind something that looks like an electric box and put it there. And that thing is just something I found on the railroad tracks that are over there. And uh, let me just fix it. And the sign is pretty much a post and some like board plywood st nailed together. And then I just glued some danger tape things I cut on there and put some creepy cloth over it. And I have this in the back so I can stand it up. This post. It same with this, get an old costume, put it on top of some poles get that, stick it in the ground, and like tape a sword type thing, and get the head and put it on there, then get a cauldron, set it down near it, uh, and that's it. If you want to do the purple lights, just get a string like this, well any type of string, and just like put it on here somehow. I use uh, ties, so it's pretty easy and well that's it I, I, I am freezing right now there's a big boo thing I bought somewhere I don't know I don't remember <laughs> and um uh oh the final thing uh, oh yeah I still have to show you my pumpkin but look at these awesome things you're like ooh what's that but let me set my camera now you see when I push this button in Push it in! Get up! It turns into binoculars. That work. I think you can see it, I'm not sure, but there it is, and then I close it back up. It just has that. It's pretty cool. I just happened to have it in my pocket because I'm cleaning my house right now downstairs because our box is of Halloween. I'm trying to find some stuff, and I happen to find that in there. I'm trying to get a fly right now. I just killed a fly, and, uh, you really don't want to see that. I probably just grossed out a bunch of my viewers. With this fly. Fly. Okay, um. I'll never do anything like that again, so don't just. Discri dis <laughs> don't unsubscribe. I better. Yeah, forget about that. Um, skeleton head. You see, I ripped out the eyes and stuff. In the back of it, it used to have light up eyes. And I'll show you what I did with my pumpkin here. Now you see, I put the light up eyes. There's... Uh, there's the cord. And it leads up into the skeleton's eyes. Well, that's my pumpkin. And here's the other side. I carved this all by myself, and it came with two other lights. I'm not gonna light it up, cause you can't see it, cause it's the daytime. But, uh, yeah. Eric the Llama TV Cod, out. Please rate, like, comment, and subscribe, and whatever you wanna do. It's not my choice. Do whatever you want. Hate me. Troll me, I don't care. And, uh, thank you, William White, for apologizing for supposedly your sister. I don't even know how your little sister knows those words, but, um, I don't know how old she is. I'll look back on my video to see if you recommented, and, uh, I'm just gonna pick this up to the heck of it, because I don't want my lawn to look like a hobo yard, and, well, uh, that's it. Bye, guys. And I hope the prop tu tutorials were enough. My shadow, stepping on myself, um, and, uh, I'm gonna try to be a little less serious in my videos, cause I had my friend said that it doesn't, it's not like, you should be a little more funny and like try to make jokes, like Dick45 Halloween, when he was, had this like, corpse skeleton that was holding a thing, he's like, Ugh! and then like, he's like, oh it's happening, and went out to his garage and, uh, like poured a water bottle a second after a black screen because uh, he was like coughing through the whole video and like made a joke I guess it was pretty hilarious and uh 
Well, that's it. So please rate, like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, Dick45 Halloween. Look him up. And happy Halloween to y'all. And I'll probably make a Halloween video. I'm in a haunted house this year. Maybe, I'm not sure. But, uh, bye. 15 minutes. Wow. 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, whatever. Rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.